What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. We got some pretty big things going on, especially in terms of Tesla. We got some pretty major updates. Now, obviously in the most recent videos, we talked a ton about the autonomous driving system. We also talked a ton about the mega chargers, the Tesla Semi, new contracts being signed, and much, much more. Every single day, Tesla always comes out with something brand new, which is something very different. Tesla vehicles are extremely fun to play around with and compared to other companies out there. After you buy the vehicle, you're essentially stuck with a dealership, which is Tesla because of the over-the-air software updates and the continuous benefits using Tesla superchargers. It's very nice. It's almost like an exclusive club when you buy a Tesla vehicle. So right now, Tesla is doing some huge things in terms of its autopilot system. I think autopilot is by far the most important aspect for Tesla. Kathy Wood from ARK Invest, one of the best investors on Wall Street, with their ETF surging a ton back in 2020 and 2019, you do have her saying how Tesla could be growing even further with the autonomous driving system. Robotaxi is on the horizon, autonomous semi-trucks, it's looking very, very good. If you guys wanna buy a fully autonomous vehicle or somewhat autonomous in major cities and highways, the only option you really have right now is Tesla. Other companies simply aren't really working on autonomous driving systems. Look at Mercedes, look at BMW, look at Ford, all those big car brands, they're not really working on autonomous driving systems. Some of them are working on like some highway autonomous driving, but that doesn't really count. In fact, that's actually years and years behind of what Tesla's doing. A lot of third-party companies like Google Waymo and also other LiDAR companies are still very far away from actually releasing their version of the full self-driving beta and releasing it to other car makers and other car makers trying to implement these third-party companies into their vehicles will also take a lot of time and there's a lot of safety regulations as well. So Tesla, they're way ahead. Essentially, if today I want to get a car that has autonomous driving in cities that can recognize stoplights, pedestrians, and also crossroads and stuff like that, I gotta buy a Tesla. They have this massive grip on this market and it's kind of scary at the same time. If you check out this video by Whole Mars Catalog on Twitter, you can see that he turned on the FSD in a parking lot, went all the way to his destination, didn't need to touch a single thing, didn't need to adjust the speed, didn't need to click a single button, and it was completely normal. And he also at Elon Musk, and eventually Musk gave a reply saying how the FSD beta version 9.0 will be coming out. And this will be great for bad weather conditions, weird turn corners, and also some improvements here and there. It's all vision and there's no radar. Tesla has been trying to differentiate itself from other companies. Other companies mainly love using LiDAR and also radar, but Tesla is going for a pure vision approach, which some have said is kind of dangerous and also kind of crazy and it wouldn't work. Keep in mind that Tesla isn't the only company working on a full vision autopilot. I think that's a big misconception here. Last year, Intel Corp actually released a video of a fully autonomous vehicle from Mobileye that was navigating around Jerusalem for 20 minutes. And Mobileye's car was only equipped with a bunch of cameras and nothing else. The video was extremely impressive showing how this Intel autonomous car was going through four-way intersections with zero traffic lights and also inner city lanes. And it also could avoid pedestrians as well. So there's a lot of criticism saying how Tesla's pure vision approach will never work and there's no proof of it. Here it is. Intel did it around 2020 and was pretty nice. Navigated around one of the busiest roads in the world for 20 minutes. It's pretty impressive. Tesla's main approach with their FSD program is only using cameras and only using vision alone. There's no radar, there's no LiDAR, and this was actually highlighted by the Autonomy Day back in 2019 when the company unveiled its custom FSD computer. And it's very nice as for the concerns about if cameras are actually better than LiDAR, if the level of safety is good enough, and can vision even see what's happening several cars ahead? Here's what Elon Musk said, in this tweet. So someone actually said, if I'm the third car in a row and the first one stops, can the Model 3 detect by bouncing the radar waves underneath the car directly? Well, they still work with pure vision. Here's what Musk said. He said, these things are best thought of as probabilities. There are five four facing cameras. It's highly likely that at least one of the cameras to see multiple cars ahead. Now, Tesla is trying to work on their fully autonomous system, but nevertheless, though, if you check out this video by Whole Mars Catalog, you can clearly see the difference between this and also the other competitors. This is a autonomous driving system that I could already get at this current moment. Now, obviously not everyone has the FSD beta. You should be able to get it in the masses around the summer of this year, 2021. 
there should be a massive update coming out this month in April, which should give a lot of consumers much more freedom with the FSD beta. And thus, we should be seeing more and more testing. Hopefully, Musk actually opens up more doors and more applicants for this FSD beta because if you don't get in into this beta program, you're going to have to wait till the summertime. Initially, everyone thought that Tesla will be releasing this software around January or February at the very latest for this year, 2021. But I guess I got to fix the bugs, make sure everything's correct before proceeding. I get that you can't really have a car with no safety features and you gotta make sure that there's no glitches or bugs in this FSC beta software, which if there is, it's pretty detrimental for the company. Now, the company is probably the only car company in the world that is actually having a fully autonomous vehicle driving around in inner major cities. Now, Tesla has also promised that there should be full autonomy at the end of 2021, and we should be seeing some sort of a RoboTax network coming out for around 2022. What I'm guessing is Tesla may be announcing their RoboTax network in only certain cities, probably Las Vegas, due to the fact that they're very lenient on this sort of thing. In fact, Las Vegas actually encouraged Elon Musk to make the boring tunnel underneath their system and there also is a lot of encouragement for new technology. Since Las Vegas is obviously a major tourist attraction, I feel like adding in a lot of this prototype technology into the city and also the roads will attract a lot of people going there, not for the casinos, but for like other stuff like the Tesla Boring Company and stuff like that. And we should be seeing autonomous driving become a really big thing. And I think Tesla is at least two to three years bigger than other competitors. Other car companies, yes, they're working on electric vehicles. Other third-party companies, yes, they're working on autonomous driving. But when those main car companies are getting these softwares from third party companies, it's also very time consuming and very difficult to merge those two together. Whereas Tesla, their autopilot branch is directly related to their car manufacturing branch. So it's super easy to do things. Now, right now, Tesla is hiring a lot more software engineers and they should be coming out with a lot of big things with a Tesla autopilot. I think Tesla's peer vision approach, yes, it's pretty controversial, but it's a really cheap and efficient way. And if you check out what Intel is doing, their pure vision autonomous vehicle drove safely for 20 minutes, avoiding pedestrians, going through a four-way intersection of no traffic lights. I mean, it drove better than some cars with LiDAR and radar. So I feel like this should be pretty good, especially how some of the forward-facing cameras can actually detect multiple cars ahead of them. I think they probably calculated the cost what they need to do. And I think going for a pure vision approach is very unique. And other companies, once again, they're not really going for this pure vision approach. If you want to go for this pure vision approach, you do need a lot of miles. Tesla has racked up billions and billions of miles, whereas other LiDAR companies only racked up maybe a few thousand or maybe a few million. This is why they rely on LiDAR way more in radar. And that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Definitely subscribe. More Tesla news are coming. And how do you guys feel about the fully autonomous driving system by Tesla?